see how they won the race. It was a dramatic occasion. The second race of the weekend here at Estoril. You see there the early lead was fought among the Pro-Am drivers, uh, principally Axel Jeffries and Carol Bash, the pros of the Pro-Am crew, uh, leading at the front of the pack. And then everyone, thankfully, on this occasion, getting through the first lap unscathed. And there we see some attacking driving uh, from further back. That was Glenn Van Berlo, who had a great scrap with Alan Valente that eventually went south, as you can see at turn two. Uh, Valente and Van Berlo both end up off the circuit. Then Ro uh, Axel Jeffries tried his luck up the inside into turn one and did so successfully. Carol Bash had to hesitate out of the throttle and onto the brakes coming out of the final corner, which allowed Jeffrey through at the first corner, but it wasn't long before Carol Bash immediately took the lead back. Adam Christodoulou in that third place car, the Thieber Motorsport Mercedes also had a go, but couldn't quite find uh, way through, remained in third place. And then it was the turn of Leonardo Polcini at the wheel of the number 63 Procast car, taken over from Benji Heats, who had a, a heat test, sorry, who had a solid uh, start to the race. Falcini then started picking off the Pro-Am cars, and it wouldn't be long before he found his way into the lead. And this certainly didn't hurt. A little bit of lap traffic, leaving the door open for Falcini. Unfortunately, Rima Jafali having a bit of an off there as well, but she would still end up in third overall, ultimately, even with that small error. Uh, it was a checkered flag and a win for Polcini and Gites. Joe Osborne claiming second along with Nick Moss. And then, just a lap from home, of course, we saw this for good measure. A huge moment for Roman Zanian. He would do very well indeed just to keep that car out of the barriers. But what could have been? It would have been a pro-am win had that car stayed ahead of Riva Nibali in the final lap of the race.